Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. Today I want to show you something that maybe is not known by everyone but trust me is very delicious and easy to prepare. This dish is called gnocco fritto and I tried it last year when I visited a medieval village that is situated in Emilia Romagna and I absolutely recommend it. The gnocco fritto is something that you can eat as a starter or like appetizer. It is used to serve with cured meat like raw ham, salami, mortadella or cheese as well, like parmesan, as you can see in the picture. The ingredients are Manitoba flour, 250 grams, flour 00, 250 grams as well, 80 grams of milk, 125 milliliters of water, salt, how much you want, dry yeast, 7 grams, and a little bit of sugar, and 50 grams of lard. To start we need is a large bowl where we pour water and milk and then salt and yeast and mix everything until it will be dissolved. I recommend to heat the water for a couple of seconds in the microwave just to make it easier to dissolve the ingredient. About the yeast, some recipe put it in the flour but I don't like this method because when the gnocco fritto is cooked you can taste the yeast flavor so for this reason it's important to dissolve the yeast well in the water. Put the lard as well in the bowl and mix it until it will be melted. At this point we can proceed to put the flour gradually, put the sugar as well just a little bit to help the leavening. Now we can transfer the dough from the bowl to the table and start to knead for around 10 minutes. Finish this, leave to rest for one hour, covered by clean film. After this time we can stretch the dough.
and split it in two parts. The thickness would be perfect around 3 mm. Cut the dough into rectangles with a knife or using that object that I'm actually using in the video whose I don't know the right name. I'm sorry but it would be fair, perfect as well with knife. For the cooking, preheated the pan, filled with seed oil. The gnocco fritto needs just a couple of minutes to cook. When you put it into the oil, just wait a few seconds and turn it in the other side. And the gnocco fritto is ready to eat. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see something in particular, leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe.